Yo gang, before we start this clip, one of my favorite street brands, Capsule Collection, have jumped on board to celebrate us achieving 100,000 subscribers. You would have seen me wear Capsule Collection a bunch of times in recording. In particular, a lot of people asked about this tracksuit right here. To be in the chance of receiving a nice package from Capsule Collection, all you gotta do is go to the Instagram, at halfcastpod, see the picture of the competition, and tag two friends in the comments. We'll pick a winner on Friday the 21st of May, yeah? Nice. Diddy as well. Come on, no bad boy. Oh, you wait, said Diddy. On. I said bad boy. Wait, did he? He premiered the boot and scored. Yeah, and he did. It wasn't even a hype. When he scored, he just put it on his gram like, yeah, I scored in these boots. Do you know then... why that's even more mad? Because what happened when yours came out? They scored as well. Oh no. One was against Manchester United. One was for Manchester United. Oh no. This is no what I'm trying way. to. We're just. We're all co-linked. It's a spiritual energy that's where if you're good, it all go forward together. Together. <laughs> What is that? Always for Nah, I'm good. I've got the Maggie. What is that? That is... That's the most time. That's the most time. It's God. Oi. It's got to be God. Oh, it's definitely God. Do you know I told you? If you're in your community and you're doing your thing, you see the people that are, all the footballers, they all link together and all the... They all link together. So right now, the people in... Uh, we're just linking up doing the same thing. I'm not naturally linking, but we're linking in the, in the spot to make football boots and right. we're doing our thing. Do you know what I just I tell you as well, man. I just no love sense. the fact that these men are making bread as well. Like I just ch like oh fab. Do you know what it is? I love more the reasons they're making bread because everyone makes bread nowadays. Yeah, but this is a different type of bread. <laughs> no, but the, but imagine the reason. Imagine he makes a football boot. This is what I'm trying to say to you about Skepta. He's made a football boot. The people premiering the camp, Mason Greenwood. And he's Dave. a young player. And then Dave's the, the, all he's got is his brothers. All I see is brothers. Look all all I see is brothers. So some people will do this Nike campaign. And not that I have a problem with it. Yeah. But they'll be catering to a market that's not too similar to mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My man's got Mason Greenwood. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. And watch it blow. Like a fucking... Because you know what? Do you know what? Do you know why that's interesting, yeah? Is because before this period here, we were made to believe that you had to almost dilute to cross over. You had to have the digestible face. But you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah. But you now... needed to have the digestible face. You needed to have the guy who was gonna, you know, I don't know, like who would a bit it clean be? cut. Yeah, like a John Terry. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. I'm so glad that demograph is out. Now like- That's done now. The black people are here, man. That's done. It's done, man. Man, I'm out here blowing like a white girl in Essex. No homo. Like, we're really doing our thing. Man said, uh... But, um... Now, this is cold, though. When does this come out? Um, I'm not sure, but I saw Mason Green wear it on the weekend. So, I'm hoping very soon. And yes, I am going to try and get the other pair as well. Mad. I don't care, bro. Like I said... Have you got all of them? Uh, I haven't got the first one. Some people are saying to me, Yo, Paul, um, you can buy it off me, size 11. But I'm saying retail price, and I'll get it. Uh, well, how much are they trying to sell it to you for? One guy said five hundred pound. I said you're part, you're charging me five hundred pound because I love Skepta, but you don't realize I love me more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear that. Do you oh, know what? Come I'm, yeah, on, yeah, yeah. he's man on there, ting boy. Mm. But fucking, that's another good thing in a sense as well. It's bad, but it's good because it's like raw. The value on it is so high immediately that I guess the bad thing is that sometimes. With this year, people have connects and then they end up just buying it just to reset it and just make money or whatnot, yeah? But just pushing that to the side for a minute, yeah? These men are at such high value that when they put something out, it flies off the shelf and if you want to buy it again, <laughs> yo, times that by 700%. And that's only not because... And you know what I don't like? Because it's not real. Mm. It's only because of consumer demand. If there yeah, was no right. consumer demand, the value of it wouldn't be high. Exactly. So you but, see, the value's higher or it's not. That's what I don't like. So but I'm we, just... but, but, like, but I, the I, positive I... in it, mm. the small positive in it is that. Demand them. Right. Mm -hmm. We are mm. demand. It's demand. It's always kind of been like that, but it's just you're seeing it differently now. It hasn't, but I hear you. I don't think it's always been demand for us. Yeah, no, I probably felt, it's felt demand in, it like, in our community. The demand here now. Of our, outside of our community is demand now. Inside yeah. of it was, it was, before it was just inside. And it wasn't outside. Now it's outside. Because you know the people that made. And we're outside, but still inside. Imagine that. Outside, but still inside. You catch a man still inside, but he's outside. 
I told you, man, being black's cool. It wasn't cool when we were doing partner, but now you got crypto. Pardner. So I'm just saying, we're here, man. We're here, bro. That's a throwback. Come oh, on. do you know what? This is a mad random change of subject here, but just before we was, um, before we started recording, what was we talking about? You mentioned something about um, not, like being in a relationship, not wanting to do something or what, whatnot, oh, yeah? Jarring. And then I think it was coming from this blue therapy thing that Callum was talking about with this girl who she wants bags and whatnot and the man's saying he's just trying to buy a yard and and whatever, yeah. Anyway, I can't even remember exactly how we led to this, but I remember just saying that like, I haven't personally been in a situation yeah, where I felt like I've needed to buy a girl something because of, just to get her out of my hair or whatnot. But the one thing that I probably do find myself in, in terms of relationships is the whole, um, you know, her, the friends, like her friends got a barbecue or, you know what I mean? We got to go out to this type of funk. And I'm in my head, I'm like, I'm not really the yo, like the boyfriend that goes out with the get, like and goes, I just, I don't know what it is about it. I'll do it, but it's just not my thing. Like I just prefer, when I go to certain events here, yeah, you already know, when I go to certain events, I'm in and I'm out, yeah? I go in. I say hello to my brethren. I might be chilling with my brethren for a tiny piece or whatnot. And then as soon as something triggers within me that says, you know what, Chucks, it's time to leave. Whoever's next to me, yeah, boom, I'm off and I'm gone. But when I get to the point of when I'm going out with someone, I'm going to a fr her, like her friend's thing or whatever, and I can't control the like, yo, I'm trying to bounce now kind of Long. thing. Oh. Long. It's like when you go, and I know it's maybe different for you, but it's almost like when you go out and you're not driving. Someone else is the driver. So it's different for you. Yeah, when you, for me, going out with, enough times I just want to drive my car. Cause I can control the, yeah, I'm ready to bounce now. Yeah, when someone else is driving and you want to leave, but they don't want to go. Oh my God, that is a nightmare for me at this stage in my life now. This is why I'm a nasty man and everyone knows. I make it very clear. Once I'm not happy, opposite of in. I'm out. Why, why, why do you want me to stay here? And I will make an effort. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a little hour. Maybe hour 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. But after that, if the sun set, the mood's meant to be right, yeah, yeah. and it's going left, I'm out. Strong. I won't, one thing I won't do, same with you, I won't go there and have a stroppy face. Mm -mm. I'll go and I'll be in the mix. I'll mingle, I'll do all of that type of stuff. But in my head, I'm like, I'm not trying to do the whole all night thing and... Sometimes, if I go there and the vibe takes me, then it takes me. Do you get what I'm saying? If the vibe takes me, it takes me. I might be there all night. I might want to just chill and just, I might like it. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. But more time, I'm just not really the like, you know, the boyfriend that is constantly on the, yo, yeah, this weekend, we're going to Tony's. You know what I'm <laughs> I hear you though, I do hear you, man. They're trying to show you off like yo, some trophy. Yo, this oh, week, on, man. yo, Sunday, Samantha's got a, <laughs> it's just all right cool yeah we'll do yeah all right cool um when you tell me that that's my response well all right, all right, all right, cool. do you know what is that, that what is time that... is it what time does it finish <laughs> <laughs> a man just doesn't want to be there but chucky for me at that point we'll really realize if we are going to be with this girl forever or not because there are some girls yeah that are my female friends and if the, i know if we were together not that i thought that because it's long i'm just, i think they would irritate me in other ways but if they said to me we'll go to our brethren's house the brethren's are cool. Yeah. Some, they might even be my brethren. Yeah, for but real. But some of my girls in the past, I'll be honest, when they say we're going to their friend's house, that's when I realised, but you're, f I don't want to be around. Anyway. Have you ever been with a girl and not liked their brethren? Yeah. Like none of them? Pretty much, but all my girls. Serious. But that's because of the girls I've chosen are just not for me. Have you ever been with a girl and not liked their friends? Yeah. See? Yeah. Like but none it, of them. Uh, no, 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 not none of them, but like a few of them. But like, you know the, like the bona fide brethren. Yes, yeah, it's, it's always the closest mate. Because <laughs> they always had a problem with off. me. They yeah, because they they got a problem with you. Because they're the jealous that you're taking their best mate. Oh away, yeah, most yeah. Of the time. <laughs> All the time, jealous of. I ain't done anything. But there's been one that I just didn't like her personality. I thought she was fucking annoying. Is it? Yeah. Sometimes I realise like, things I didn't like about the girlfriends, my ex girlfriend's friends, yeah. were traits that they showed. But my girlfriend had it as well, but I just ignored it and tried to blame their friends for doing, you know, yeah, oh, do you yeah. know where I'm coming from? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like if, and a really subtle, oh fuck that, we're out here now, man. So you know when a gal is a bit free, yeah, the yeah, number yeah. after two, yeah. and there's a self-respect that you should have for yourself, but when they don't have it, 
you blamed a friend that's not got no self respect. But these times, I don't know. Girls are, I don't know. My, my, but my selection is poor. I've, I've got with a girl <laughs> who bought me a ticket to go on holiday and not one of them ones you pay for it up front, a little bit at a time. So she got oh, me the ticket for um, a little bit at a time and she yeah. made one payment. So I basically paid for my own birthday present. Oh, to no go way. What? Are you <laughs> Wait, so she made the initial, she put the down payment on and you had she to She's done a big thing. Look what I got for my boyfriend. Rah, rah, rah. And then these times I paid for the ticket. So wait, she did the down payment, right? Like the first initial payment. She put the deposit and then you did the rest. I did the rest. That's mad. And bear in mind, deposits <laughs> can be like 50 pound. Firm, and these times the flight's blood. like six bills, 650. And then I've paid for everything. The food. I'm like, wait, I didn't even plan to leave. And now I've got to compensate for all of this. And so now you're three bags down. For what? <laughs> These times you could have been in your yard. Chilling out. Yeah, and happy. And happy. Take the H out. How about that? Take the H out. Yeah, happy. Because that's what I want to be. Strong. <laughs> I couldn't believe. Do you know Aye. what? But it's my fault, Chucks. And boys need Why? to do this. Go on. We need to start owning our mistakes. Yeah. Like you didn't when we were younger, we're like we're eleven years old. I want a girl like that, and then you turn twenty something, and then you get a girl like that. You was eleven years old when you made this decision. Nah, no. Grow up. Yeah, I hear that. I didn't grow up, Chucky. Mm. Grow up, man. Yeah, like I, make yeah. a decision on a girl based upon what you need for your life, not what you think you need or what is yeah, glossy yeah. for the moment. I've never. I'm so like even though my things didn't work out, yeah, I ain't never been in nothing overly toxic or mad i just had one very crazy breakup is and it? do you know what yeah what what i will say is is that she's not a bad person do you get what i'm saying she's just had a bad moment yeah in that time and so i could see that and that just was what it was but other than that like i ain't had the mad and do you know even even in that in a situation yeah i think even that's in that situation that would probably be the time where i'd say that I didn't really f- like, I didn't really fuck with the brethren like that. But it was only because I started to see that like, not that they didn't had an issue with me, but just the way that they moved. I didn't really love the way that they moved. And I just thought, I don't know if they got your best interest at heart, but guess what? That's for you to work out, not for me. If you ask me my opinion, I'll tell you my truth and from how I see it. But these are people that you've known before me. So I, there's no way I'm coming into anyone's life and telling you, Distance this one, do that, push this one to the side. You got to work that one out for yourself. I'm out, big man. If I get into a situation and there's a girl there and I don't like the friends, I'm breaking up. Serious? What? Big man, <laughs> they were there before me. You want me to trust you to, to help me in this situation? Yeah. Fam, they were there before me. They've seen so much more. You've got so much more experiences. I need to love this experience. And if I don't, opposite her in. Yeah, but... Doesn't it depend on how much they are involved? But like, you'll never know, cause you was, big man, if you get ever a girl, say she's 27, right? she's had a friend for 10 years and you just get with her, that's 10 years you don't know about. Yeah. Now, real. if there's a year where it's shaky and you trying to tell me here and that girl ain't sitting down like, yeah, man, you remember your ex-boyfriend? I don't want them combos whilst I'm next door playing FIFA. Oh, no, no, no. So no, I'm, no, say- I'm to be fair, I'm not, I don't, I'm not bothered about that. No, no, but I don't want that energy. I want, very the energy i want in my life right now maybe for me is let's move anything that keeps us stationary for no reason yeah. i'm not the boat dog i, I want to just move and i just think yeah stationary combos yeah i hear that well listen i hope i'm not manifesting any type of fuckery i hope i am um in 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 my life oh, um, sugar. So, <laughs> hence, we, hence um you know, sometimes I I try and stay away from things like blue therapy and all of that and them type of f- stupid conversations that I hear being had sometimes. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what? Well, it's good though. It lets people know that there's crazy people in the world. We have to That's know about the real. dangers. You're so right. We have to know the dangers. You're so right. Because also people. watching that can let you know what you want and what you don't want. No, wh- yeah, for real. I don't want to be around anyone like that apart from one girl who was just trying to tell her hobby. Yo, what one? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Like, I want you to love me. Well, what's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> Look out for me now. <laughs> nah. Was that, wait, that was the bullhead brother with the beard, yeah? The bullhead brother with the beard is a couple of nuggets short of a happy meal. Mad. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw something that him and Taser was having I on couldn't Instagram. Be- I can't watch. I can't. I love, and I love Taser, you know? I love But him. I can't watch, like, that. When I saw a clip of the conversation, I thought, I can't, what kind of thought? What kind of thing is this? Taser's smart, though. Taser's a hoe at the right times. He would jump on something, 
just to show that individual, what are you doing, big man? Yeah, yeah. And I think that was a moment subtly. for Taser. So, yeah, Taser done it subtly. Mm. AKA Brown Chocolate, AKA No Homo. He mm. was doing his thing and I could see the guy was like, I need to show some intellect here. Yeah. He tried to show some. No, you can't. You can't talk to Taser. Do this is what he does yeah, on yeah, a yeah. living. And you know when you you know when someone gets to that point when they I think when they start thinking to themselves, shit, shit, I need to be intellectual here. That's mm. when it goes tits up. That's and when I it goes he's a, he's a sm- up. You can tell he's a smart brother. You tell him he does oh, yeah, in, a, in, t- a, in a particular field. What? In a when particular comes- field. Definitely. But the... the, the ah. That's how it goes. Anyway, Giggs is an American. It's making me very happy. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's making me very happy. I didn't think that he would be able to get there because of, you know, there's that thing between oh, England yeah, and America. Course. When you have certain charges, you know, you can't go, you can't fly there or whatnot. But when I'm seeing all of them, the DSS, these guys all out there just on a vibes thing, oh, it makes me happy, poet. I can't even lie to you. I watch these guys and I think, fucking hell, bro. Like, look at them. Look at them. Enjoying life. Huh? Enjoying life. Really enjoying But enjoying each other's company in a different setting. Do you know, like, it's one thing enjoying each other's company in Peckham or enjoying each other's company in fucking Hakkasan in England or whatnot. But you know what? A young LA, young New York. And you know, it could have happened to a nicer group of people. I'll be honest with you. Them dons here, yeah, I've had the privilege of seeing some of them through like, even like catching them at one aways at wireless, like Mr. Idris and, was it no? Well, Damson, Damson <sighs> Idris, yeah. What a See, handsome I've black seen man. him at what wireless. What a handsome black man. But do you know what it is? Forget that, take that H out. Cause some people might, he handsome. is so humble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that you brother know. is so calm. When I first saw him, I looked at him and said, you can't be my, my girlfriend's brethren. What are you smiling for? Nothing's even remotely funny. Don't try to steal gal with a smile. Move. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. time ago. He's yeah. kept the smile, maintained the composure, but look at it. I just made some slow fall and he's kill, bro. He is, bro, he's killing it. He's killing then it. Then you got Daniel. Daniel just out there winning a Ross Clark Oscar. After me. and look, my idol, one of my idols, Samuel L. Jackson, had some salty words for my man. That's and not I, my idol no more though. When he said that, it's not my idol no more because Daniel's my brother. He walked up to man and said, filthy fellas. I said, you are a real one. I said, yo. Sam, Sammy, I can't even call him by his like the full name because with say? the respect, I don't know about with the respect, I would always call him Mr. Sir, you know Samuel L. Jackson. You I'm calling call him, him Sammy now. I'm calling him Sammy. Am I not even calling him? I'm calling him Sammy. What one boy? You made me pick a side now. How can I you didn't do... love that. Why can't you sing "Brace Your Black Brother" from another country? Basically, what it was, yeah, yeah, it was um, a thing of he had the issue that. There were British actors basically taking American roles. Oh, fuck off. Or playing, no, playing African American slavery or slave type oh, okay. roles. That's way more specific. I think it was more that that he had the issue with. These times, James Bond is never flexing in London for longer than five minutes in a scene. Every minute, man, I have to fly out and go bear different places in some Hollywood film. Like, bear everything so Americanized. Like, you can't have one brother coming over there and still doing American things. Mm. It's not like he's doing an English thing. Big man, he's African, you know, to the core. And no disrespect, Daniel. Obviously Samuel. And, and you know what the maddest thing is? And this is no disrespect to them, yeah, but let's be clear here. There's a lot of Americans who don't know their heritage at all. They don't know which, they say like African-American, but they don't know which part of Africa they're from. But yet they love America. America has stripped you of your own knowledge of where you're originally from. So you claim sides over there. For me personally, that's a couple of steps. Which is it, to be madness. fair, to be fair, actually isn't their fault because that's a history thing. I'm not saying but it's you their can't fault. Dis, you can't dis my, you can't have any salty words to, towards an African actor playing an African American role. You can't. Especially after you diss him so long ago because you're Samuel, you're in love with your head and who you are. And look what Daniel's done now. Now you can't say nothing. Now if you were to say something, you look like an idiot. Yeah, so, yeah. you know what? Samuel L. Jackson's a prime example of, I don't have no idols no more. Because I all liked you lot <laughs> when I was too young to realise what life's about. I just like my people then. Shout out. Do you know out, what it is DSS. as well, bro? Sometimes when someone's good, they're just good as well. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to just kick back and just let someone just be good at what it is that they do. Like... I don't know if any of you watched this, but um, I watched uh, Judas and the Black Messiah with Daniel Kaluuya. 
He, honestly, bro, not even from a, from a biased standpoint, he absolutely bodied it, bro. So what he did you bodied the role. It was such a, good, such a good film. And it's based on the true story as well. It's based on Fred Hampton, who was like the, um, he was like the head guy of the Black Panthers, yeah? And honestly, I didn't really know the story like that, but the story is super deep, bro. And the way that he, there's like certain bits in it and again, I'm not the movie. You see, like when it comes to movies, if you say to me, "Have you seen this? Have you seen that?" I'm, like, I'm not that. Guy. I'm not that guy. Yeah, I just like what I like and just go to certain things or whatnot. Yeah, but one thing I do watch here yeah, is like I have a tendency of like watching the way that they react to certain things. Remember when we was talking about Top Boy, and there's one thing I kept saying about Kane, where it was there was a part yeah where um, someone was wiling out and Kane wasn't saying nothing. And the fact that he wasn't saying anything, yeah, but his facial expression, paint, the whole, like, told everything, that's acting. Like, there's, you know, you could do the whole thing and shout and whatever, but you see when you're doing the part where you actually are, you're, someone's shouting at you, and you just have to stand there. And but the you, you've got to give the facial expression. I watch things like that. You know so even that? in that, when I'm looking at Daniel doing his thing. Was he mad? He went absolutely mad, bro. So, such a good, such a good movie. Um, and him in particular, so good. And it's, it, it has to be difficult doing that and also embrace uh, doing a whole accent because- Oh shit. Accents, remember, <laughs> accents are not like, in America, there isn't just one accent. Loads. Damson Idris, yeah, uh, in Snowfall. He's playing a, what is it? Like, he's from LA. So well, Compton, living in Compton. They have a certain type of accent. Their accent is different to uh, someone who's from the Bronx. Completely mm. different. Like that is a skill. Mm. You have, like as an actor and as an OG, you have to look at that and rate that. Because I ain't seen anyone come out and say, yo man, these man, their accents was hella off. Or their thing was. Maybe he did rate it, he was scared. Scared. But he's old, he's an OG. He could yeah, be, but he's he still scared. Be now. But he's still scared. Ain't he in, wait. Ain't Samuel in Ross Clark, um, their Marvel movies and that. Yeah. Cause I watched, cause I'm not into Marvel movies, but I watched one Marvel movie and I said, yo, Samuel's getting this bag. How could he be mad? Yo. Because his- there's not many black spaces. So you see the black spaces now, they're getting filled with a couple English boys. I get it. But you know what, big man, like a bridge, get over it. Strong. Get over it. The facial expression thing, I call that the fumes now as well. Fumes the engineer, because it's about the facial expressions <laughs> when you can, you know what I'm saying? And I know Kano's ones, they're deep. I know when you look at his face, sometimes it's plain and you're like, Mm. He's about to go. It reminds me of my mum back in the day when I used to muck about in the street and then she'd look at me and she hasn't really moved. She's just staring at me. That's a skill. It's taught you. You've learned so much from that look. I rate them guys. I don't uh, see why. Just, just to make it even more clear, yeah? Go on. And to, and to show the deepness in it, if I, let's just say as friends, mm-hmm. I ring you. No, I'm talking to you, yeah? And I am, I am angry about something that you've done and you're upset about that. You're upset that what the thing that you have done has made me this angry, your face has a particular look. If I am angry about something that you have done and you believe that you was, wasn't even wrong and that you was right, while I'm being angry, your face has a particular look. If you can do this in acting and replicate that, that's a big skill for me, honestly, bro. That's a big skill for me. And I watch those type of things. And sometimes that's to my detriment because you know what, I end up getting blindsided by like, I'm just not even watching a film. I start watching like little things where I'm thinking, how did the cameraman not notice that this angle was a bit, you know when they like, there's like a, there's might be a scene of them in the car and he's looking this way and then the camera flicks, but his body's not in the same thing. Position. I start looking at that and I'm like, how did they not notice that? That's I know true. it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. That's no, probably that's why I'm not That's your thing though, that's my thing. Come yeah. on, man, we all got our thing. Maybe that might be one of the reasons why sometimes if you ask me, yo, what was that film about? I can't even tell you. <laughs> a man's crit- critiquing the whole film to the point where he don't even know the narrative yeah. no more. <laughs> Give him a job. I'm, I'm definitely in, in Snowfall at the moment though. That's my thing. After that, Walking Dead, I might do that. That's your one, oh, isn't my it? God. Walking Dead. Yeah, you keep saying, after. oh my God, like he just belongs to you, you're selfish, man. It's all our God. I'm sorry, honestly, Walking Dead. Well. Obviously, I stopped for a long time. I had to. Because it was just making me really angry. Damson is killing flipping snowfall, though. Is it? Thank you, bro. 
He's killing it, bro. No, but shout out to honorable shout out to all of those like everyone, all the actors and that from here and, and stuff that are just doing some groundbreaking stuff. But go back to gigs. Because gigs, you sorry, see gigs, yeah. you know what's so good about Sorry to eat. You know what's so good about gigs? When I watch gigs, all I think is I remember when you was arguing with the BBC doing a diss track to them because they wouldn't let you in the building. Mm. You haven't changed, but they have. Mm. I advise everyone making music, I advise everyone doing creative arts. You don't have to compromise your art. Gigs is living proof. In 2000, I think it was six, he's making diss, or maybe before that, he's doing diss tracks to the BBC because they're not letting him in. Mm. In 2021, he's raving with Drake and the DSS. Um, it lets me know, patience. And do you know what, do you know what it is as well, yeah? Them man actually just genuinely, f- it's not even like, he, bro, it's not even like he's going out there on a begging thing. No. This man, fuck with him, you know? He was with Mano. He's a, like, these are veterans in the game. Brother, he was with Big U, you know? Mm-mm. You know Big U is like the, the one of the dons in LA, like on a real gangster one. So, but Gig is one of the dons on a real gangster one over here. Yeah. He, yeah, he did Mano's podcast as well. What's a little bit of that. Oh, when he's talking about the strip club, I'm sorry, man. That was funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, you can always get a good story out of a strip club. I tell you that now. Especially when you go to a strip club in a different country. Mm-mm. To go if you if you don't know, we, there's an episode where I talked about my Perfections, strip club. or is it? What, where did you go? Uh, um, the one that I went to was in New uh, York. Oh yeah, Perfections was the one in New York. Oh yeah, Lola. Oh, I wonder what she's doing now. Was man was about, spending was someone else. To you were spending too much money when you thought. Anyway, we'll go back to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couple times, that. to be fair. Do you ever think like I don't know if you, I don't know maybe just me in it, but like, ever been to a strip club? Met a girl in the strip club just in that moment, and then years back, for what she's up to every day. <laughs> I'm making it seem like it needs, I need some time. But I, I went to Prague in 2016 for Bolt's um stag do, mm. one of the worst stag do's I've ever been to. I want my money back. Terrible, it's serious. it was terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> man's gone over there, <laughs> gone to a strip club. Man hey, said his stag do was terrible, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. how long? Howler, a nil-nil game between Bradford and Stevenage. Oh shit! Howler, but um, what was funny? Went to a strip club over there, massive strip club. The, and listen to the, the 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 we my friends almost got into a fight. We stopped that fight. We went outside of the McDonald's. The strip club's right beside it. Three Russian guys come out of nowhere, call me a nigger, try to have a fight with us. Mad. We tried to stop that fight. Hmm. My brethren goes, "Can we just go to the strip club?" And we meet a stripper from Hackney. I said, big man, send me I'm home. Hackney. <laughs> send, I'm in Prague. What's going on? Yeah, what Why? the fuck? I'm in Prague. And then the stripper's like, from Hackney. Yeah, she might have been hitting the belly though. Because out there in Prague, hmm. bro, bro, hmm. I'm hearing lots happening out there. It's crazy over there, bro. But see with their strip clubs though, are their strip clubs like, is it one of the ones where you got to go in a private room and do all that type of stuff? Or are they, no, are no, they no. dancing? They're and out you... Oh, okay. It's not like, it's not the States though. Yeah, yeah. The States is the States. The States and Jamaica is very similar. Oh, Atlanta Jamaica seems crazy. Jamaica's yeah. scary, bro. Oh, it's shades, blouse and... Anyway, I've told that. Yeah, we've, we've done them. Have you gone right? to Thingy Mob, though? What's it called again? What's the bait one in Atlanta? No, I ain't been there. Um, King of Diamonds. Blood, I went this... When I was... Listen, I got to the door. Cuz, do you know how much niggas are in that There Excuse is... Wet. Wham. Yeah, yeah, wham. I'm talking... There's bam. I'm like, yo! How, what, look, how am I gonna get any girl's attention? <laughs> like, how? Yeah, but you can. <laughs> I'm with Vooge, two chains walks in with money, taller than everyone. Yeah, yeah, I hear that still. Blood, I just said, yo, do you know what? Let me cool off with a couple wings. It was oh, me. You can get food in there. Yeah, 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 come yeah, on, me, there. Bradley yeah. Wright Phillips, Vooge was a couple wings. Bradley Wright Phillips brought the other half. I said, he's a real one. Did he's he? a real one. Did and he? I'm in there just like, yo, what's going on? How was am I not, gonna talk to any girl? Was there no girls in there on a just on a girl? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because I was gonna say imperfections. Well, I remember being in the queue and there was bare girls in the queue. Yeah, is it? Bare girls in the queue. Wait, and no, no, Callum. No, no. Oh. oh, some like what? Wait, what? What well, area? They, they what area though? This dogs. was in New York. See, in New York, the girls are bare friendly. They're bare friendly when they hear your accent. Mm. In Atlanta, they're just some of them are just rude. Oh really? Rude. To the point, I'm trying to get my food. I'm like, I'm sorry that I'm in your way. Could I just grab my food? Well, y'all see me here? I said, but I just, I, well, clearly I just said something to you. 
I said, "Yeah, move, man." Oh, you call my man? Said, no, 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 no. We can, we can work this out. <laughs> we can work this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you go, yeah. Because they, 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 they man's got straps. Man's is. got straps in the car and all of that. Yeah. And you hear about all of them type of things. <sighs> I remember actually, yeah, that same night when I went to Perfections in New York. Yeah, we was at, we went to a bar beforehand, and then um, there was a DJ called Tony Touch. Remember Tony Touch? Like he did music videos and shit or whatever. I just remember hearing about this guy. So I'm Easy. like, oh shit, yeah, it's Tony Touch or whatnot. Then the girl, some girls come up to me and she's like, yeah, do you know what, like. Um, you, like give me like twenty dollars or whatever it is, and you can take a picture of him. I'm like big man. Like I don't give a. F- Honestly, yeah, I saw my man. You can take I a picture Tony of him. T- yeah, but she's mi- she's mistaken me for one of these people who's like some fanboy in that. Yo, I fuck with like I'm I fuck more with um, gigs and these type of man. Then I'm gonna come out here and take up twenty dollars for Tony Touch. Who the fuck do you think I am? I don't give a fuck about these man like that. I just saw him and just it, that just was what it was. So that almost ruined the night because I'm thinking, you lot, like, what is this? You lot are so gassed. But then when I went to Perfections, Lola. Now nah, we've been there. We've already had that. I've never fallen in love with a strip club with a, the strippers, but the woman behind the bar. Oh, about they're, they're 50 fire times. as well. They're fire and they've always got a story and, and I they're never. More attainable mo- as well. Bro. And it's more in my That's league. That's true. I don't know why I'm saying that. I've never even been to a strip club, but I assume they're more attainable. <laughs> He's right, Tell him. I'll be honest. <laughs> <with you. laughs> I'm bringing you. I'm bringing you. Nah, I'm not even joking. I've never. No, I'm been. bringing you. I brought my girls. I don't really want to. I, it's, no. it's not really my kind of. Vibe. You do. I don't. You just I, don't I, know. I hate you because it's not mine. It's but not it's mine a good experience though. Because okay, I'm yeah, not... yeah, yeah, fine. Once in my life for sure. But... Yeah. Because I'm not the yo. You know, like when. The, you know when you go to a strip club and that, and then a woman makes it seem like she proper desires you in that. Yeah, and she it's wants like, to I'm not marry really on you. That. Yeah, don't do, don't do that. But Cal, have you been but, before? No, I've never been. To it's before. not what you think. That's all I'm saying to you. Okay, it's well, yeah, not yeah, what you think. Sometimes it's, a, it's just you know what I mean. It's, a it's worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've gone to strip clubs in every nah, single nah, state I've gone to. I'm telling you, it's the best thing I've ever been to in my life. Oh, because it's so much you're watching a grown man who you know has got kids at home waste his whole check <laughs> yeah, on a girl that's about 10 years younger than him just because he wants to feel young for I once I the stomach to watch <laughs> that's that that's true though. you know I'm watching like, we have, I've watched one guy get his tight and he's like yeah man and at the end of it he's like oh my god my money so I've gone there with a camera guy who spent his whole bread had to phone his gal the next day like I'm sorry it's mad but some of them chop though let's be clear some of them chop very clear yeah, some of them chop. If you've got the right <laughs> amount of bank, depending on where you are, what country you're in or whatnot, you've got the right amount of bank. You, you yeah. Not even the right amount of bank, I can't lie to you. Not that, not like I'm speaking from personal experience. <laughs> yeah, save yeah, your ass. Okay. Save your ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. But I can say this. The moment they're like, wait a minute. You're not from around there, are you? Well, I could flex and no one would know. Yeah, true. Yeah, you see, that's, that's an interesting one there, you know. How people behave when no one's looking is a real interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me. When Listen. You're not, you see when you're not I was from the saying country, this the other day. You see when you're not from the country and no one knows you and she can live her deep inhibitions. Did you know what I did say? Did you see what I said? Because you know, I see where you're coming from. I took it from this angle. I love how people go through people's DMs and out them. Let me tell you something. If everyone had to show their DMs, you'd probably hate your mama. And that's the reality yeah, that's real. of the situation. So when I go abroad, it's kind of like I'm going through someone's DMs because a lot of the women and the males just be a person that no one knows apart from me. Mm. I swear <laughs> to God, me and Vuj will go somewhere and they'll be, the girls will just act wild. And then I'll say to someone, oh, do you know, you? I never knew she was like that. I said, blood sea dog. Yeah, yeah. You better get an English accent. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and a nice to call Airbnb because it can be different. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It can be different. It is a good. It's a, it is a good experience though. It's just it's not my like. It's not my proper go to though. Do you know what I mean? If I'm in a different country and I'm not like fl- I'm not desperate to go to no, um, no strip club. But I will say that. In every country that I go to, I wouldn't mind going to one just to see what it looks <laughs> so like. But I'd go with my girl though. Yeah, I'd go with my girl. Yeah, I'd go with my girl. I'd go like shades with my girl and that, so she could see it. Or I'd go like King of Diamonds or or whatnot. At a point, I wouldn't have wanted to do that. I would have wanted to go on my ones because I would have wanted to, you know, 
You just need to see what I want. Yeah, yeah. Without like, and I just wouldn't want to feel awkward about it. But now I wouldn't feel awkward about it. If I had a girl and I, we went, I wouldn't feel awkward about it. If you want to come, you can come. Should you get you more want to see what happens you. with Shades? All right, come, let's go Freaky Friday. You see? Oh you see my God. But um, Jamaican strip clubs though. I saw a midget. His dick. Was, and no homo. There's the episode. No homo, I fam. I did the episode. No homo, bro. I did the ep- I'm going to put the episode no in No homo, fam. I looked at this and said, yo, this is mad, bro. I couldn't believe this it. This is mad, bro. And then the woman. I couldn't believe this it. This is mad, bro. I'm looking at these Jamaicans like, and they're drinking Magnum. Brother, I could not believe my eyes when this, when he came out. I couldn't believe it, bro. I can't even say the names of people that I was with. But try no. We're really in Jamaica going, what? Blood clies, this My stuff. whole experience there was insane, but I'll leave the visual at the end of this. I don't know what the audio, I don't know what the audio episode is called, but um, we'll but yeah, you'll find it anyway. Um, but yeah, honorable shout out to Gigs though. Come on, um, happy birthday to him as well. I know it was his birthday, good time to be out there or whatnot. Happy birthday to um, Clint as well, my Cl- brother. Cortez, Clint. I have for shout out, uh, yeah. Um, honorable shout out to Jay Huss as well, best male at the Brits. I didn't watch it this time around. Um, but yeah, honorable shout out to him. Big up Heady One as well, just living his life. Mm. You've seen him on stage dancing and all these type of things. I love it. I can love I sh- it. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, OFB at the Brits. OFB. Is Did you the know Brit? the Brits was coming? No. Oh, I thought I'm not the only one. I didn't oh. know. Oh, uh, yeah, I clocked. Oh, did you? No, you know what? Usually, like, I don't how know, long before? Three, how, how long, long before? before? That's it. How long uh, before? Uh, I, I had heard about it a few weeks before because I heard that it was one of the trial events with like a full crowd and everything. Right. So I think I heard it off the back of that and then I forgot about it and then a few days before it happened. Yeah, a few days before is when I knew. Yeah. So how much people did they have there? Do you know? 4,000. 4,000, yeah. Well, and that's they didn't, what they I didn't know, do dinner. It, I'm not going to lie, it looked more than 4,000. Yeah. But yeah, I heard it, it was four. There was, they had like, see where usually the dinner tables and stuff are? There that was wasn't a there. a massive stage yeah, and there was a just a thing. few tables for artists and it looked like they were coming in to sit down as their award was being announced and then they were taken away and right. other people were put there. Shout out for the people going though. I'm glad so much people went and just go outside, of, it man. It was full of key workers. Key workers? Key workers. Good, man. Yeah, or not, key, not full of key workers. My friend Henry Frimpong was there. He is not a key worker. Before. Yeah, I, I know. They did They did say <laughs> uh, today it's, it's full of key workers and I was like, I Who know said about that? 50 people that are definitely not key Who workers. Who said that? Uh, they uh, said it on stage. Uh, fucking liars. What, were they what? Were they these key workers supposed to be inside? They were in the crowd, yeah. In the crowd. I think, I think the majority of it. Rock. Yeah, my know. ross. It was full of industry people. Yeah, but exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And brethren. And brethren. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, someone who had the connect and you get what I'm I saying? I think there was Bear a sprinkle that. of industry workers personally, not just... This one's them. daughter was there with her friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. one's son was there that. with... You understand what I'm saying? It was a lot of that. Do you know what we've got to yeah, start doing? Remember, that we're living in a classism society, you know? Especially this understand industry that. as well. Huh? There's hierarchies. Do you know what we should do? We should only go to them award ceremonies if we're genuinely fans of the event and what's happening. Yeah. Or if we're going to win an award or we're part of the team winning the award. There shouldn't be this yearn to go to this thing. And even if you weren't there, no one would even miss you. Yeah, well, do you know what it is, though? I think like there's a lot of artists that don't necessarily put value in it until it's close. When it seems reachable, then all of a sudden, then oh. they put value in it. And I then, like, nah, I and then, and then now you want to go. So it was like I remember, um, I remember like the Mobos, for example. Yeah, there was like a point where it's like, eh, nah, I'm not on the Mobos. Boom, 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 boom. This that, and the other. You see, when Mobos was coming up, I see people out there with their tongue hanging out, ready to suck some dick for a ticket. Yeah, let's be clear. Yeah, people was out there really dying for the ticket. So you know what it is. I say all of that to say this is like it is. Your, people's opinions are of it until it's close. When you're close, what's your opinion then? How do you take it then? Is your composure still there? Or maybe you might have changed your mind. That's fine. Yeah. There, people are entitled to change their mind. Oh, definitely. I just think that if you're there because you're part of the winning team or you're there because you're part of the nominated team, or you, it's like, a, all right, I'm going to work hard to be a part of something, to win something, not just to just be there. Because then it's like, yeah, it just feels you. a bit weird, you know what I mean? Like Manchester United worked really, really hard. We're in the Europa League final. Cool. You can't just go call a couple man from Everton. Like, yeah, come just come jump, jong along for that. Yeah. Come on, let's. Well, have would to- you not say though, to play devil's advocate, that like it can be inspiring for some? So Definitely. like they could go, and not they're not a part of anything. They're not like uh like winning an award or anything like that. But for them going, it gives them like an extra push for them to actually maybe even go harder. For me saying? personally, no. 
Yeah, for you, not, not for you personally. But, but I can't see it from any other perspective. I'm not going to pretend I can. I can't understand the inspiration behind something that's bollocks. I genuinely can't. But if people are inspired, then fucking go, man. Live your life. Do your thing. I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. But when I know it's bullshit, and I've always thought it was bullshit, yeah. I can't be... In, I can't, my inspiration... What do you what, You think the award show is bullshit? Or you yeah. Just... I always thought... I, that's not what my inspiration was growing up. My inspiration was really weird things. like Well, not weird, but like Ian Wright and yeah. fucking Chucky on fucking... On the podcast, on the podcast, we used to do right at the start. We used to yeah. do uh, jump off TV. Those are my yeah. inspirations, not the Brit Awards. Growing up, how can the Brit Awards be an inspiration if none of my people then were winning it? So I'm not inspired. What? If they by win, that. What, what? Okay, you can't look at it from another perspective. Do you know where I'm like, coming from? If I was a but, lot younger, maybe I could. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But I'd be honest enough to admit. But it's nice to win something. I mean, it depends on like what you plan win. For. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. See, that's too general for me, Chucky. I'd rather a man. Like when I saw Drill, that Drill song go number one, yeah. that made me happy because you know what? That's a bit of an authentic, as close as possible to what's happening. Man's in Edmonton Green. It's just so like raw. It's a bit unapologetic. That's something you can be proud of because you've kind of done your thing to be, but the Brit Awards is all a bit like, like I love AJ Tracy in a tracksuit. I'm watching him in a suit. And I'm, I'm sure there's people <laughs> that love all that stuff, but I'm just like, this is not why I love this. I'm not going to pretend it is because everyone's having a good time. Yeah. Like, I love Dave dashing the mic, tracksuit, because I'm still watching something that kind of looks like it could be anywhere. It could have been a fucking music video on Graham Daly. When it's too glossy and the homeless man's got better teeth than me, I've already told you, mm. I'm not inspired by that. That's not my inspiration. My inspiration is my people, not mm. the other side. <laughs> it's not yeah, no, I, could, I get what you're saying. I could see why... Um, someone who goes could maybe be inspired to want to be a part of the winning process. I could see that. I could see someone saying, someone going and seeing like, I don't know, let's say there's an artist that's gone and they've seen like Jay Huss win because that's he won best male, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. He won best something. That's I'm amazing. sure it's best male. Yeah. So then they might go there and think, you know what? Yeah. I, not that I'm going to compromise my music or whatever, but you know what? Like I... That is kind of that's inspiring to me. But like, was Jay Huss there? Like to... No, he wasn't there. Uh, Semtex uh, took his. Do you understand where I'm coming from? That now, all there? of a sudden, he wasn't there. He's never there because do you know what it is. Oh. That's my idea of realness. Donny's not even like it doesn't like. I'm happy to win. It's great, yeah. but my inspiration from doing music is not a Brit Award. Yeah, but that's like I don't think anyone's saying that though. I don't think anyone's saying that. You think no one's full... saying that? You think there's no musician saying that they're not inspired to win a Brit Award? You can look no, me in my eyes. They are, they are, they are, they are inspired to win, but mm -hmm. that's not the reason why they do it. Your backside, Chucky. They will never tell you, but I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I've sat down with these people, like, is Wait, that I the owe, reason um, why you want to do this? I do owe um, Tion Wayne a, a tiny bit of an apology. Is it? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. What happened? Not, not to him personally like that, but like. In the past, I've like talked about, I've used an analogy in saying that like, and I remember I did it with Poet as well. I can't remember the exact context, but I was saying that obviously you've got people that have like a genuine fan base and then you have artists that are like doing well because there's a large amount of people who are a fan of a time. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, it's like, remember that summer where so-and-so did such and such, but it was more the summer and it was more the vibe more than it was just the actual artist mm -hmm. like so so and i kind of put tion in that and i'm like i'm looking at tion and i'm saying to myself now wait one second people are really really fucking with this guy personally like not even just on a a fan of the time thing like he's shown for quite a while now that like mm. now he actually he's actually going to be around for quite a while and his story actually his story's good though yeah, and, and to actually have what, what was it, the first drill song mm -hmm. to go number one or whatnot. But Chucky, why did you think that? Because like, I'm confused. That wasn't a disrespect to him though. No, I know, but I'm still confused because like, yeah. I know all the people throughout my whole life that have done incredibly well mm. are more than the, the situation in which they are in. So early rap for me is Biggie and Tupac and them niggas were beefing each other and you heard about more of their stuff outside of the music than in the music. T.M. Wayne's gone prison as much time as Digger D fam like the man's in and out of prison yeah, there's loads of things that are shared outside of the three minute 
uh, sonical experience. So mm. when he gives you the three minute sonical experience, if he mentions prison, beef or anything, you're mm. going to be like, well, that's true, bro. Have you seen the amount of stuff he's done outside of it? Mm. So I think that adds to the situation. That's what yeah. I think is a genuine example of something, you know? Yeah, yeah. When you're just making music and there's no backstory, that's not hip hop, grime. That's not any, that's not hip hop. That's not grime. That's not drill. That's not anything. Everyone in a counterculture has a, has a story. Mm. So if you're doing rap with no story, you might as well just go and make a new band called Blue and be that guy in Blue fam. Like he has no story and we're comfortable with that because it's mm. a pop act. But you can't be part of counterculture with no story. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that like, I get what you're saying still. I 50 Cent think... had a story, bro. Yeah, but I think you could still have a story and just be, and like, and have a, just one really good year. So, I mean a good story, bro. Like a, there's no story for a year. There is no story that's a year. Giggs has got a story. Tion Wayne, maybe I know Tion Wayne's story a little bit more because I'm from North. But there's certain things that I know yeah. a little bit more fine, than... Fine, 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 fine. Yeah? Yeah, it's just... Maybe you might know Western's story a little bit more deeper than me. Mm. So if you, Western could have been out for a year and I go, oh, but then you go, Poe, do you know how much things they've done? So I don't want to use people's brain and say, oh, that's the... No, no, don't disregard what's happened. Whatever yeah, they've done, But even with that being said, though, I, I hear that mm. still, but you could still... Even with that, you could still just have one good year. Like, to be honest with you, bro, think about it like this, yeah? In oh, music no, no. anyway, just in, just in general, mm -hmm. like, it's hard to be out here for years, you know? Like, mm. at a level. Not like, you can any be, profession in yeah, front of yeah. the camera, it's like, very hard, To yeah. do this like, is one thing, but to like, to do this, and then to be here, like, that is, like, even if you get one of them, that is still something to be respected because there's a lot of people that can't do that That's and that won't happen for. I respect him, Holly, but, yeah, yeah. but what I'm saying to you is the reasons why I knew it would happen is because yeah. he's not here. He's here in Edmonton Green, mm. having beef with the man them, and that's the story. The story's not for here. The story's mm. not for the Brit Awards. The story's not for anything that's going to be in there. It's here. Mm. That's them story. When you hear about Dame Dash going into record labels and all that hood shit, that's there. And yeah. that allows you to come over here. So when you start saying all your hood stuff over mm. here, they have to validate it. If they validate it, you excel. Mm. The moment they don't validate it no more, I won't say the artist names, but you know who they are. Yeah. When you start seeing collaborations with people that you're like, what? You know what it is. I'm not going to say names no more. I've decided to stop doing that, but <laughs> you know what it is, fam. Now, honorable shout out to Tion, though. Yeah, big up to them, like, the whole team and that, that's doing, you know what I mean, that's behind that and whatnot, but specifically to him and Russ as well, because Russ has been on some absolute stone cold club smash hits. That's the one I rate the most. Yeah. Because they ruled him out just like Soldier Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ruled fully, him yeah, out definitely. just like Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy got a number one, Russ got a number one. I was online and I would see people rubbing out Russ. And I was, he runs time he released a song, everyone's like, oh, it just sounds the same. I was just like, you're just getting at him because it's popular to get at him. But you know what the one thing you can't stop? Life. God. <laughs> and God said, sorry, Russ we're getting you know, But see with Soldier Boy though. <sighs> Let me tell you something, yeah. I have to give him hella ratings. Soldier. Because he's still out here. And you know what the maddest thing is? Like, Soldier Boy has come out with a tune that once the doors open, is gonna absolutely bang. But let me tell you this. You see, when I heard this rhythm, I said to myself, Soldier Boy sounds like he just had the mad overdose in the kitchen. Yeah? He's woken up out of the overdose, mad high, and said, yo, turn the mic on and just did a thing because he's a tad off me. <laughs> no, no, he's not even a tad. He's off me. But it's on purpose. Right? On purpose. My God. He's high as fuck. My bro, I've listened to Soldier Boy. I don't just... You see when people heard this but song? But it works. Because <laughs> I listened to Soldier Boy. Do you know how much music he's recorded up until she make it clap? So you see the off beat thing? He's mastered it. He's mastered the off beats. Yeah. All people have done <laughs> is listen to the one song. I've been listening to Soldier Boy. He's my guy. Listen. <laughs> I love Soldier hey, Boy. Soldier Boy had the mad overdose and bus case and went new... straight into the booth. Have you heard Soulja And did Boy? a smash hit. What? Have you heard and you know the mad thing is, the song's about one minute, 54 seconds. If that. It's not even long. This song and is there's not what, there's like one, there's, what is it? It's structurally awful, but it works. It's okay. Play it. No, this is what you need to listen to. Play it. Fuck, I hate adverts. They ruin your whole vibe. Two years ago, when he done the Breakfast Club thing, he started a journey. He did. Drake! Dra ah, he started a new journey. And this song here is so offbeat, Chucky. Yeah. 
because you're not no, that offbeat heard, on no, that, but I that's still that. just mad. This is and it play the clap wing. thing. All right, play the clap thing. I'm telling you, this is a banger. He had the mad overdose in the kitchen and bus case. But that's said, exactly what happened. Listen. There's no way that he just woke, like, had a sober day no, and I'm went honest. in the booth. And I'm. He's been doing it, but you, no one's been paying attention. I'm telling you, you're either a commercial soldier listener, yeah, or am. you love soldier. I don't love soldier like that. So when you but, love soldier, but I I respect him though. What is that adverse? Oh yeah, God. like I don't listen to Soldier Boy in my personal life like that. Dude. But let me tell you something. I'm playing this tune in the club. I am. Yeah, you gotta play that. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Like, and keep it going, keep it going, keep it, keep it going. Watch it, watch it. That's, this is it. <laughs> There's a little verse hold in on, there. Hold the on, verse okay, is a bit okay, offbeat, okay, but that's okay. it. Tell him, There's I'm going to say it again. Yo, he's got what about, see the clap bit? That's like, I don't know, 32 bars or 64 bars. Yeah. And then he's got like an eight bar yeah. and then that's it. And then that's it. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, but you know it's going to bang. Yo, Callum, you what know did when I you say? played this in a rave, yeah? God. Oh my God, bro. It'll be so From sick. an overdose. It'll be so sick. One week, 2.5 million views. One week, 2.5 million views. From an overdose. I'm telling you, Chucky, our scene is social reform. You can have- By the way, this can... ain't facts, by the way. I'm not saying he did have an overdose. I'm just saying he had, did have an overdose. <laughs> That's it. Like, seriously. I keep saying in our scene, you can't write no one off. And that's why I like it. You can't write no. You want to write off Russ? He's number one. You want to write off Soldier Boy? Go to Soldier Boy's Instagram and take a look at the amount of gal that have done the She Make It Clap thing. <laughs> Beneath Berg. Could oh. you imagine what he saw when he was on Percocets? Obviously, someone was like in, you know, in his subconscious making certain clap. That's good. Clearly. Do you know what it is, yeah? Do you know what that is? That is, you know when you, um, you you have a dream, you go to sleep, you have a dream, and you wake up and you remember your dream, and you start telling your dream. Soldier Boy had an overdose, and he remembered his overdose. He remembered what his subconscious was doing in his overdose, because they do say, what's this? This one's for you. Oh, shit. Don't drop the phone, I understand why you did. Sorry. Chucky, look at Send that. Send this to Callum. Chucky, look at that. Send this to Callum. Chucky, look at that. That looks like 50s misses. Is that 50s misses? No. no, it's not. It's Benice. Man said it's Benice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 50, honorable shout out to 50s misses, by the way. Um, yeah. Oops, shit, sorry, bro. But, um. Sorry to the audio listeners. They say, well, like, that hurt. when you do, like, certain therapies or whatever, and you, you, they, you deep, they can deep in your thing, you can have, like, certain therapy where you have, like, MDMA. Apparently, it's not a. A pleasant experience, but you're going deep in your mm. into your trauma. But um, yeah, whatever was going on with him, it worked out for him because now he's he's really back on again. And you know what? Out, outside is opening up. But talking of writing off though, yeah, like Joe Biden podcast boy. Because.